Previously on the Fentertainment channel, we removed the stock motor from our club car president. We sent the motor off to Plum Quick. The guys over there did the Bandit upgrade to our stock motor. We are now able to hit speeds of 23 miles per hour by doing so. The stock speed was 12 miles per hour. This was a very easy install. I'll link this video and others in the description below. Next video, we installed a six inch lift kit from All Sports Manufacturing. On the same video, we installed some Trex 14 inch wheels with 23 inch all-terrain tires. The following video, we replace the stock controller with a controller from Navitas. Also, it has on the fly programming on the dash. This gave us security. This gave us more speed, more so torque, but more safety as well. After these upgrades, we went ahead and added a 48 to 12 volt DC converter so we can start adding some accessories. We also did a full review on the Bazooka Party Bar G2 system and an install. Next, we swapped out this standard old body for the new 2020 look. The next video in the series, I'll show you how to install LED lights in your wheels. All right, so here's the boxes. This is the front and back side for the golf cart and I went with the Lazy Life seats and covers here. Now on my uh, build sheet, this is what I got. I got a President exclusive luxury set with high backs, bolt on headrests. The pattern I went with is the two-tone A. It's the uh, Coco Cool Touch with the chestnut Cool Touch double diamond tuck stitching with tan. Um, the Coco Cool Touch piping on everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them. I have not unboxed them yet. So I'm gonna do everything on camera and uh, you can check exactly how it looks when it's to be unboxed and see the quality that they take on shipping stuff. I wanted to show you that as well. And uh, these are not just your ordinary eBay cheap seat covers or, or any, you know, that you just get and staple on. These are actually the real deal seat so um, these boxes are very heavy so i wanted to go ahead and open them on camera like i've already said a couple times and show you and myself together so that's what we're going to do so it lets you know right there it's already got foam in here to protect everything and you can see the kind of color i went with and they have a lot of foam packing in here to keep everything safe while shipping. That is one there. That is a slick looking seat. Man, it feels good. Uh, the double stitching on the diamond pattern looks good. The piping looks good. It already has the seat bottom already on it. Like I said, you don't have to really do a whole lot to these other than maybe screw them to the golf cart on the back seat and clip them to the front. So there we go. I think that's the back bottom. Let's keep going. Okay. Here is another one here. Man, this looks jam up. So I got the back installed here. That is nice, son. All right, let's go ahead and open the second box. More foam. Before I show you the bottom, this says um, bridge plate instruction install plate between high backs with wood screws or lag bolts not provided for added support. So keep that. As you can see, there's going to be holes. There's hole patterns in here. And they have nuts sunk into the wood here. And uh, it's to accept your side pieces there. So you already got the bottom. And you already got all the trim. Let's look at the other side. And this is the seat bottom for the driver and passenger. You have the cell phone holder right here. Man, this is slick. It also has the Lazy Life tags on here on the side here. This is a good looking seat. So here is one of the seats. This is the driver or passenger here. 
and this is the other one as well. Same thing there, this is on the opposite side here. One's for already for the passenger side, one's for the driver side, and you have the spot for the mounting load bolt there. So on the handles here and on the uh, hinges here, the hinges is gonna take a 7 16 socket to remove these two from this side and two from that side. The handle bolts takes a 3 8 size socket. We need to go ahead and remove those. Once you have the uh, bolts removed, we're gonna go ahead and retain those. All right, so I went ahead and put the seat on the cardboard box, turn it upside down, just like I removed everything from the other one. I did this so I don't get the seat dirty or ruin it on the garage floor. Line the brackets back up, put the bolts in place. Like I said, there's gonna be an inserted nut into the seat bracket, so you wanna put them in. Now on the side brackets here, when we put them on here, it's gonna be to, you're gonna have to actually push them on with some force in order to get these holes to line up. This foam, there's so much foam here. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit of uh, pressure to get the holes to line up. Once you get the holes lined up, you can drop a bolt into place. Let it hold. Do the same thing on the other side. Start up by hand. Once everything's lined up, drop it in place, and your new Lazy Life seat bottom has been installed. Now in order to remove the seat back on the front facing seat, it has two 10 millimeter bolts. We need to remove those. Now once you have the hardware removed, we're gonna take the seat, lift up and off. Now will be the time to go ahead and clean this back here while the seat is removed. And before we head on to the next step, if yours is clean or if you don't mind yours being dirty, you can skip that step altogether. So when we are installing the back portion of the forward facing seats, you're gonna have these cleats here. It's gonna be one on each side. The one closest towards the side of the vehicle goes on that particular side. This one's on the uh, most leftward side. That one's on the most rightward side. That tells you this is drivers, that's passengers. Pretty self-explanatory. Now there is a female portion on this right here cleat and there's a male portion on the cleat of the golf cart so you make sure that they mate together before you put the bolts in the back of the seats to hold them in place now they have included this plate here and what it's designed to do is to put on both seats here and uh, you can actually uh, it just gives it better support when you're putting them in place now we might add this but we're going to wait to the last step before we add this to make sure the seats are in place and so you don't install them and then one seat might be cattywampus versus the other one. So let's go over something here. This black bolt on the left hand side, that's the factory bolt from the back rest of the forward facing seat. It was too small for the Lazy Life back uh, cushion insert. I had to use this bolt here. This is the same size bolt that went into the bottom for the handles. This is the bolt you're gonna need to use right here for the Lazy Life back uh, seats for the Ford facing uh, for the nut insert. So I believe they're gonna all be the same. So this is the seat is installed. It's not going anywhere, okay? Uh, I just have the one bolt in it and it's slid into place. Next, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So on this back seat here, this backrest fits like right here and there's a bracket. Once you take the bracket off, you're gonna unbolt the bracket from this factory seat here. You're gonna bolt the bracket back to this seat here. 
So if you run into the same situation where only two bolt holes are lining up, you can leave the two top bolt holes open or you can use some lag bolts to uh, drill into the wood base itself. Those are a quarter inch lag bolt. I pre-drilled the back seat before I put the lag bolt into the back seat through the top of the mount. Somehow that footage got lost, so I'm just wanting to make it and show you uh, what I actually did there. So in this back seat kit here, the seat bottoms mount between the seat frame with some Phillips head screws. We're gonna go ahead and remove those to drop the factory seat so we can reinstall the new Lazy Life seat. Now in order to mount the seat from Lazy Life to the back seat kit on the golf cart itself, we need to attach some screws to it. However, what I'm planning on doing here, I have some 24 inch wire ties and I have one wire tie going through the seat frame and one going across the very top of the seat. Now, while I'm doing this, it's simple. I want the back seat to be held in place on both sides while I'm trying to attach it, so I don't want it to move. So there's no instructions to how you install these Lazy Life seats. But I want it to look good. I don't want to strip any of the screws. I don't want to strip the uh, base of the seat itself. I don't want to fight the aggravation of it staying in place while I'm trying to screw it together. So even if you had a ratchet strap, that would work as well. So as you can see, the seat ain't moving none. And I can go ahead and close it down at the bottom position here and run my screws through the base of the seat. So this is on the bottom of the seat itself, on the seat frame. I used the same lag bolts to go and mount the bottom of the seat there. Uh, the ones that were provided with the back seat had a very small diameter screws. I just did not want to trust them. They actually had a couple of them in each spot. Looks like maybe uh, it would have stripped on the other seat at one point. So I went ahead and did the lag bolts. Gave me a little bit more security. So that's how I mounted the bottom. As you can tell here, the bottom is sitting really nice and flush with this metal piece. Also, when I mounted it, I used the zip tie method to hold the seat in place so I could get a nice firm look here. As you can tell, the seat is pretty much mated with this black piece of metal here. So this is the stock seat here, and you can see it's completely smooth. Um, this is your stock vinyl here versus the cool touch on this other seed here. And if you can see, it's got like a vibrant pattern that keeps this right here seat much cooler when you go to sit down versus it being completely smooth here. The way the fabric is made allows air to flow between each one of them and to uh, keep the seat much cooler uh, than the stock ones. Alright, if you're interested in some very stylish and very customizable seats for your golf cart, be sure to go to LazyLifeSeat.com, check out everything they have there from different stitching patterns, different colors, different materials that you can use, embroidery, uh, debossed and embossed logos. Be sure to check out Lazy Life Seat on Instagram for all of their pictures that they keep posting of all the different kinds of seats. That's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to click on the subscribe button. Be sure to share this video and drop a like. It really does help the channel. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.